I know it's been a little bit since I posted, but I've been chasing down leads on Fire Festival, and check this out. So in the order form, I actually put my real phone number, but a fake name, which led to me getting this. Hi Kevin, this is Rob from the Fire Festival team. You've been approved to purchase your spot on the island. I'll be calling you shortly. He did call shortly, I didn't answer because I was at my daughter's soccer game, but I said, sorry I missed your call at a soccer game, this activity, good number to call you back on, actively is what I meant. Yes, perfect. Okay, that was about a week ago. So this came through on his contact card, so I did a little reverse image search. Zero results. I tried Google, I tried PimEyes, I tried TinEye, nothing. But the area code on the phone is from New Jersey, and McFarland lives in New York, so he's already outsourced the calling for this. And my other guess is that they're probably spoofing that number and they're not actually in the US, which is kind of common practice. So a week goes by and I haven't responded or called them back and then I get another text. Hey, this is Billy reaching out to follow up on your application to attend Fire 2. How many people are in your group and what ticket package would you like? Which is ironic because I actually put the number of people in the form. I put like 3,000 or something ridiculous so they should have known that it was not legit. So clearly they don't care about any of the information that you put in the form at all. I was like, there's no way this is Billy McFarland. There is no way. Is it? Sup, Kevin? Yeah, it is. Is it really, though? I mean, it is a New York area code that it came from. But then I tried to ask some, like, investigative questions, and he did just didn't respond. I'm like, hey, uh, how do you have time to message people individually? That's crazy, man. No response. Question, what's the money going to do in escrow? Nothing. Never mind that. What's the artist lineup? Nothing. I'm going to venture a guess and say that this is not Billy McFarland, but if it is, it's really desperate for him to be reaching out to people individually, especially on an obviously BS order. It's pretty sketch. I could probably, I'm sure with a 98% certainty that Fire 2 is not going to happen. He hasn't listed where the actual location is going to be. He hasn't listed an artist lineup, which if you think about any other festival, they have already listed the artist lineup and the location when you pre-purchase tickets. I could look at a concert that is years away and know the lineup. I mean, it's subject to change, but I know at least what artists are supposed to be there. But not announcing any details? That is so sketchy.